All right, today we're going to show you how to replace the fuser unit in a brother printer or multifunction copier. Um, what you can get with um, fuser units when they start messing up is crinkling. And that's a poor example, but that's pretty much, you know, it'll come out looking all wrinkled up. And it'll also give you jams. All right, so the first thing we're gonna do, now by the way, this will apply to the multi-function machine that's like those down on the ground. And then there is uh, some printers that this will apply to as well. Um, and stick around uh, at the end, because we're gonna show you how to reset the counters by going into the service mode. That is key so that we know how many copies are on that fuser section so that we're not replacing it prematurely. Uh, I will say that we will be replacing this one. It's got 10% left. And the majority of the time that I have found, I've got hundreds of these things out in the field. Um, the fuser units are really getting, you know, 100% out of them. Uh, in most cases, I'm going past 100%. So... Um, just for video purposes, I'm going to be replacing this one with only 10% left on it, but um, that's fine. All right, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to pull out the duplex tray. And then we're going to open up the door and we're going to pry this off like that. And then this will just slide off. And then this will just slide off. And then we're going to take our screwdriver that I'm going to leave a link for you. Um, I've been using this screwdriver for 10 or 15 years now. I've been working on copiers for about 40. Um, this has been the best screwdriver that I have found for working on copy machines. They're great for home use. Uh, that's all I'm going to say about it. I know you're here to see how to replace a fuser unit. So up here on the left hand side, we're going to undo that screw. There's going to be a cover. And then there's going to be, I generally take this out. This just kind of slides down and out. And then there's going to be a connector right here. I'm going to pause while I get this apart because it's kind of a bear. All right, so I thought I'd show this to you. You just take your screwdriver in there and press it in there and then you can get that apart right there okay now the next thing we're going to get this other cover over here oh i'm sorry before we do that we've got to get this fuser out of the way that fuser guide then this will come off afterwards there'll be one more screw over here and take that out and then there'll be two connectors they're colored and they can only go where they're supposed to once we got that then the fuser section is just going to come right out now if you're doing this right after you cut off the machine be careful because this is going to be hot and anything metal uh, will burn you now we're just going to take the new fuser unit, put that back in there. We'll put our two screws back in. Well, we'll put our first one right there. Then we'll get our connectors plugged back up. Put our connector. Cover back on, just like that. Okay. Get our plug back in. And then there's a little clip. You can see it right there that it i like to get them underneath and then let's not forget about that otherwise your pressure is not going to be engaged right 
Then we just put our panels back on the way they came off. Um, See, there's one for right here, and then there's one right there, and one right there. And then there's also one right there. This goes in there, and then there. And I always seem to do that. I want to put it on this big one that's right out here out front, but it, that is not where it goes. All right, that's where this one goes. And that goes on there like that. Um, so what we'll do after we get that on there, this will go, this, <clears throat> this has to slide on and it has to go up underneath this. And then you can bend this down and then that will slide in. And then we'll pop our panel right here back in. Now, now we've got that in there. Okay, and then we we'll slide this in there. Now, as far as everything goes uh, about putting the fuser in, we're done. The last thing that we have to do is we have to get into the service mode and reset this counter so that it doesn't come up and say, please, re, uh, please uh, replace fuser section. So hold on just a moment. Let's get the machine started up. All right. Now that we got the machine started back up, what we're going to do is we're going to press the home button. We'll keep holding that down. And then we will touch this bottom black bar. Then we're going to hit star 2864. Then we're going to hit 88. And then it's going to say reset laser unit. We don't want that. We're going to hit the arrow key. And then we're going to hit up. And then it says fuser unit. Now we're going to hit mono start. And once we do that, then we hit the X button. And then we can go back to the number keys and hit 99. And the machine will reset. Now when we go to the wrench, maintenance, all settings, go down to machine info, parts life, you can see fuser 100%, okay? And then we can just hit home to out, all right? And that will do it for the fuser unit. Don't forget, please, if you like this video, make sure that you hit like and uh, subscribe to my channel if you like uh, like what I'm doing and if you would like for me to make more videos uh, for something in specific that you would that you need help with please don't hesitate to leave a comment I'm re um, responding to all comments thank you